All right, guys, it's a travel day, and Chris just cleaned the tanks out a couple days ago, but guess what? It's already burping. <laughs> there comes a time in every RVer's life that you've got to deal with the black tank. We've spent a couple days at Harvest Hosts. We don't think we use enough water. And if you're wondering what burping is, let's show you, and we're going to take you on this adventure. We don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to try to fix it before we take off for the day. If you're wondering what we're talking about burping, it's the air that's coming back up through your pipes into your toilet. Now, if you watch, you should be able to see a bubble. That is what we call a burp. So there's something wrong. We've got to go figure that out. All right, guys, this is what I call my magic wand. I'll show you exactly how we use this. Not fun, but it's one of those things that you probably should carry with you if you're full-timing. Heck, we were using it when we were part-timing. It's just good to have. So one thing you'll notice is I change gloves quite a bit in this process. I don't want to cross-contaminate anything. Uh, fecal matter is nothing to play with. This is gross. Because I'm Chris's assistant, I had to put my rubber glove on because I'm outside and I'm going to hand him the magic wand. And I don't want that contaminating on my hands. Oh, you ready for this fun? We're going to be pulling the hose up through the window into the main bathroom, which is our only bathroom. And then I'll show you on the inside what we're getting ready to do. All right, so one thing when you're working in the bathroom, you want to make sure that you, if your system has the ability to turn off the water, definitely do that because you don't want the water constantly running when you're going to be flushing. So we're going to be working down into the drain. So my job is to turn the water on and off. Um, he's going to communicate that to me so we don't make a huge mess inside our trailer. So I'm waiting on Martha right now to turn on the water. All right, I just felt the hose pressurized. I have an on off switch right here. So this is definitely not a fun thing to do. Um, unfortunately, it feels like I had a pyramid. We had some soft solids down below. So this is definitely a two person operation because you need someone to manage the water outside and someone inside to manage the magic wand. Okay, so that took about 30 minutes of running the wand into the uh, toilet, which you saw. Now we are getting clean water coming out. We're gonna hook up to the black tank flush. I'm gonna run that wide open until that comes out clean. And then I'm gonna start the process of back flushing, which I'll show you in just a second. Now that it, the uh, black tank hose is flushing, I'm gonna let that run for a few minutes, make sure that comes out clean. The one thing I have on here is called the Save-A-Drop. And then I use the Save-A-Drop when uh, I'm doing my back flushing. So when I talk about back flushing, what I'm talking about is closing the black tank valve, allowing the, the water to fill up in the black tank. And then once it hits about 30 gallons, I open it and it creates the rush to bring anything out. I'll do that a few times until it comes out clean. Now. We're working on the outside, letting it go. I'm gonna go check and see what's coming out of the end cap. Uh, one of the benefits to having a clear elbow is that I can see what's going on and I don't have to guess. Okay, come on over here. Okay, so we've been running the uh, black tank flush, which is built in from the factory. We have clear water coming out here, so we know we're good. So the next step for us is gonna do the back flush. So I'm gonna go close the black tank, let it fill up the 30 gallons, pull it. I'm gonna do that until I see that it comes out clean. We're trying to solve a problem before we have to pay somebody to come in and do a professional cleaning. So we have a dedicated hose for our black tank flush. And of course we have the magic wand and my gloves are clean now. Uh, we store the magic wand in a trash bag. We want to keep anything that's gross and nasty put away. Uh, one of the little things we do just as a gee whiz, we always close off the hose to itself just so if there's anything in here, it stays in there. Uh, the flush hose never gets anything nasty. It's just fresh water, but better to be overly cautious. So after two uh, fills and dumps, 30 gallons and then dump, 30 gallons and dump, our water's coming out crystal clear. I'm gonna go up and check and see if we've got any burping. Let's go for a walk. All right, turn the valve back on. Let's see if we uh, solve this problem. We're gonna go ahead and fill the tank up with water. Oop. 
pushed it a little too much. All right, let's see if we got a burp. Nothing. Fantastic. Now, let's go see by chance if the tanks actually show empty. All right, Martha. These are clean gloves, guys. So let's see, black one's the only one we have. Oh, wah, wah, wah. we're still showing a third, but we know the tank is completely empty. Sensors suck, y'all, we know that. The verdict is in. Chris, tell them, what happened? Well, it was all poopy. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a pyramid, and we ain't talking about the Egyptians. So unfortunately, we got a poo pyramid when we were taking advantage of Harvest Host and Boo Dockers. Welcome. You know, it's a kind of a rookie mistake that we shouldn't have made, but it happens to everybody. It does. Gosh. But I'll tell you what, if you want to know more about Harvest Host, we're going to ask you to watch this next video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you use more water when you flush. Enjoy every moment on the road, folks. Yeah, don't forget, like and subscribe if you have it, and we'll see you guys later.